Mars, Jared Leto, and his big brother Shannon going to be on stage with special guests, AFI, Davey Havoc, and his hair, and Poppy and Kenny Hoopla. It's a good lineup. It is next Wednesday. It's already August. Wednesday, August 7th, out at Blossom. Tickets, info, everything else, you go to livenation.com for that. A car 10, these are yours. Two for 30 seconds to Mars and company. Good luck. 216 578 or 800 348 Pro tip, if a cop pulls you over and they hear you listening to this, they're probably just going to let you go because, you know, they figured you suffered enough. The Alan Cox Show on 100.7 WMMS. what kind of structures Jared Leto is going to be climbing on once he gets out there to blossom, rappelling down the side of the stage. Sammy Hagar had a blossom tonight, by the way. People going to that show. Oh, it's going to be a wet one. Yeah, I might poke my head in out there. I got a couple of friends in from out of town who are going out there. And it's always, you know, every time you see Sammy, you go, well, he might not do this again, so... Doing a bunch of Van Halen. He's got Jason Bonham behind the drums. He's got Joe Satriani out there with him. Here on the buzzer, though, we are doing, um, Corey is doing an all, a no commercials after show here on the buzzer. All Sammy Hagar starting at 1020. That show is going to be getting out. And pop on the buzzer. And then he's going to do it again tomorrow night. After the Def Leppard Journey and Cheap Trick show, that's around the corner at Progressive Field. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow night, so he'll be doing the commercial-free after-show parties here on The Buzzard. Will they be doing this for Coheed and Cambria and Primus? I haven't, seen I'm going it. To. I, I haven't seen anything to that effect. Mm-hmm. When is that? That's next Monday. Next Monday. That's the one I'm going to. Well, so I do I'm have Primus to. tickets all week to give away for people who want to get a last-minute shot at that. Those are at 420 all week. Primus and Coheed and Cambria and a band called Too Many Zoos. You know anything about Too Many Zoos? I, I think they're like a three-piece, and it's like a drummer, a bass player, and like a trumpet player or something like that. They're, they're, someone said don't miss them. Okay. They said they put on a wild show. So. Too Many Zoos. Oh, there they are. A New York band. Leo Pellegrino, Matt Doe, Murhead, and David, King of Sludge, Parks. All right. Well, there you go. They all met at the Manhattan School of Music. Oh boy. Okay, so it's going to be a lot of um, it'll be a lot of uh, interesting stuff going on there. Anyway, Primus tickets all week. I'll have the buzzard bike key for you next one around four ten. A Guardians baseball is tonight uh, against the Detroit Tigers. They ended up taking two or three from the Phillies, I think. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's Phillies great. the best team yeah. in baseball. And Guardians, no slouches. So Guardians, I, I these must be a couple of makeup games maybe. I don't know. 6.40 tonight is your pitch, so we'll roll out a few minutes after 6. Uh, that, that is in yeah. Detroit, by the way. Oh, good. I was okay. thinking they were here. Uh, that is in Detroit. Okay. Guardians at Comerica Park. So we'll I don't know what the weather is there. It could be just as bad as it is here. But by game Let's time. I'm going to use technology to find out. Probably, probably be okay. That looks good. So just a two-game series, 640 tonight, 110 tomorrow afternoon, and then the Guardians come home to play the Orioles uh, Thursday through Sunday. That'll be a four-game series. And keep in mind, CLE Clothing Company, you can get 20% off by using the promo code STAR uh, for anything you want all through the month of July. But, of course, then we'll need a promo code for August. Come Thursday, let's keep that 20% rolling. And so I guess um, it's up to you guys to try and tell me what the August promo code is going to be. Book bag. It would be good. No? School. Bulletproof book bag. <laughs> clear bulletproof book bag. Hey, you got it. It's clear bulletproof book bag, as timely as today's headline. Uh, no, it's uh, not that. I don't know. Again, I, this is, is it, another one I don't know that you'll oh, get. Oh, it's not like a... The theme isn't... School? Is it school-themed? No. Nope. More Uh, local. It's more... Are more local? Locally-themed. Eerie. 
Beach Erie. You're close. Lake. Lake. Oh. Is your promo code. Yes. The name of one of our other radio stations. Perfect. Yay. Let's use that as the promo code all month or over at CLE Clothing Company. But irrespective of whatever that is, it's 20% off to you, customer of all things Cleveland. They've got the Cleveland t-shirts and they've got the, the hoodies and they, of course, have the official MMS buzzard gear. We're always dropping new pieces mm-hmm. over there at CLE Clothing Company. So you can use Star today and tomorrow and Wednesday. But come Thursday, if you use Star, they will look at you like you have a nipple in the middle of your forehead. And I wouldn't be surprised. No, they're too nice for that over there at CLE Clothing Company. But if that were me, I would run you out on a rail if you try to use the previous month's promo code. I say, get out of here, you stinker. That was last month's. <laughs> August is Lake. Mary Santora, correct once more. Always and forever. And uh, that's what you're going to be using all through the month of August. I saw that the they put the Princess Leia Return of the Jedi gold bikini up for auction. And I thought it would get a little bit more. I have to say, I, I, don't, I don't think I have a really good head for, it's not about what things are worth because they're only worth what somebody's willing to pay for them. But given the nerd lore around Carrie Fisher's golden bikini in that movie, I guess I thought that it would get more than $175,000, which is what some rich nerd uh, paid for it. One of the most famous outfits in film history, obviously. Carrie Fisher in when she's chained to Jabba the Hutt, and she's wearing that gold bikini. Yep. So it, it's the bikini top, it's the bikini plates. There's hip rings, there's an armlet, and there's a bracelet. And you know, listen, the Star Wars movies not known for their sex appeal. Uh, George Lucas could barely write dialogue. He certainly wasn't concerned with uh, the other stuff. And when he showed that uh, costume to Carrie Fisher, she thought he was kidding. She assumed he was kidding. And uh, she said that uh, wearing it in the film made her feel very, very nervous because that just wasn't her vibe. I don't know if she was married to Paul Simon then or what, but she's like, I I had to sit very, very straight while I was being filmed because I didn't want there to be any little creases in my body. It would be terrifying if you were a young actress, and that's not even the vibe of these movies. Uh, one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. Now, yeah, that does seem. I mean, they also sold them so they, iconic. Yeah, they sold a model of a spaceship that was used in the first Star Wars film that sold for one and a half million dollars. Hey, the bikini, I thought would have uh, got a lot more, and they um, auctioned off some Harry Potter wands, a hammer prop from one of the Thor films. Um, but uh, $175,000 for Carrie Fisher's Princess Leia bikini. Her buddy Mark Hamill, by the way, showing up in that Green Day video. Have you heard the new Green Day song? I have not. Called Corvette Summer. Pretty good. And of course, a little nod to the film Mark Hamill did is his film right after Star Wars was called Corvette Summer. And some people thought it was a bit of an odd pick because he was a megastar coming off Star Wars. But, you know, you kind of take what they're throwing your way. But Mark Hamill, was in a, you Gen Xers might remember a movie called Corvette Summers, Annie Potts' first movie when she was young. And it made money. I mean, Mark Hamill was Luke Skywalker by that time. But Green Day did the Corvette Summer video. It's got Mark Hamill. It's got Hannibal Burris in it. It's a good song. You guys still do good work. Corvette Summer Boy. There's a movie. I wonder if that's streaming anywhere. Probably not. I was like in the second, third grade when that movie came out. But it was uh, because nobody thought that Star Wars, it really was an unexpected smash. You know, the people who were in Star Wars... The people who, they were like, we thought this was going to be a ridiculous movie. There's a giant walking carpet, and, you know, Alec Guinness was a real get for those people because he was a Shakespearean actor of renown, yeah. of international acclaim. And he's like, I'm walking around in a robe, and I got these dumb light swords, and, you know, it just hit at the right time. 
right place, right time. Because sure as hell wasn't because George Lucas could write. It was just got everything right in that movie. And so Mark Hamill was probably like, well, I got to do what I, you know, he didn't know that movie was going to be massive. He didn't know he was going to be forever known as Luke Skywalker. Right. So Cor- uh, Corvette Summer came out the next year. And it wasn't great, but it was okay. Annie Potts was cute. You know, she'd be in Ghostbusters just a few years later. And, um, but I remember watching that. It was on HBO a lot. In the earlier days of HBO, they'd show Corvette Summer. And so a little nod to that, they put Mark Hamill in the video. Robert Downey. I I guess uh, uh, Comic-Con is happening in San Diego. Maybe it's over. News this weekend, yeah. I think, like, uh, at least all the Marvel stuff wrapped up this past weekend on Saturday night. That was the big Hall H uh, thing where they revealed that the Russo brothers are back and that they're bringing Robert Downey Jr. back to be... Victor Dr. Doom, Doom. Yeah. I am unclear as to why that was the choice. I know they really wanted to get him back in the mix, and they're like, but he is not going to play Tony Stark, obviously, because Iron Man's dead. Yeah. I'll show you a little clip here if you're watching the live stream from uh, Comic-Con where they have the Russo brothers and a bunch of people in Dr. Doom outfits. The one person who could play Victor... Von Doom. And then one guy steps forward and takes his mask off. Robert Downey Jr. Yeah! <laughs> it's fun, but I don't understand it. I don't quite understand it either. It's... He's going to go from playing Iron Man in the MCU... Yeah. To, to Doctor Doom, Doom mm-hmm. in a movie called Avengers Doomsday, which I think is sounds like it's cut from whole cloth. I don't. It was going to be called something else. Yeah, because they, they they did a massive shift from the King Dynasty stuff that they were going to do <laughs> with Jonathan, Jonathan Majors. Majors, yeah. just because not just because he was found guilty of abuse, but like the pe- people just were not invested in that storyline. Nobody right. cared. Right. So they had to go in a different direction. They bring back the Br- Russo brothers. They bring back uh, Robert Downey Jr. They're going to have him play a different character. I don't know how they're going to. He's going to be the bad guy it. now. He's going to be the bad guy now. And I trust the Russo brothers. They've made some of the best comic book movies. So we'll see how it all plays out. It's just, it's it's weird. It's a weird move. Feels thirsty. Oh, yeah. To get RDJ back in the mix. I yeah. know he said he wanted to do, hey, they find the right thing for me. Mm-hmm. I guess that was the right thing. I know they're also going to do Secret Wars, which was one of my favorite comic book series when I was a kid. Loved Secret Wars. So it'd be cool to kind of see that come out. But, yeah, I just thought that was uh, good for them. That's fun. I would love for them to incorporate, if you nerds want to go back with me about 15 years, to the Blade comics that were coming out about that time. There was a Doctor Doom storyline where Blade is sent to kill Doctor Doom. But Doctor Doom goes, A, uh, when I was in the womb, uh, they reveal that Doctor Doom has fetal awareness. He can remember when he was in the womb. And his mother was attacked by a vampire. And he wants Blade to go back in time with him to save him and his mother and the whole thing. It sounds pretty dopey, but it it was a cool series. Probably around 06, 07. That doesn't sound like it's going to be part of this, but... Mary, your thoughts? Man, womb awareness. <laughs> nerd alert! Nerd alert! Nerd alert! Yeah. That sounds like a, a Donald Trump talking point. Yeah. <laughs> As opposed to room genius. awareness, yeah. which is a, probably a much more widely useful JD thing Mason to have. Yeah. These crazy cat ladies have no womb awareness. <laughs> <laughs> crazy cat ladies. I didn't even know. Somebody sent me the, uh, it's a very brief advertisement that was on Twitter, but a little thing for if you're going to Comic-Con, here's a phone sex line for him. Like, phone sex? I didn't even know phone sex lines were still around. 1-800-PHONE-SEX has an account on Twitter, and they said, hey, we know a lot of you are going to be at Comic-Con, and uh, call us. We'll do a lot of uh, sexy, sexy cosplay, but on the phone? Like, they're not... Tonight, do you ever dream of a sexy superhero? 
tonight. Do you ever dream of a sexy superhero? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. <laughs> right down the middle there. Got me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, want to see me in a? You won't see me in you a costume because you'll, you'll call the phone. You'll hear me. Yeah. You'll hear me in a costume. Yeah. Well, I'm wearing the ultimate universe version of the Scarlet Witch costume. I'm wearing nothing but Thanos's glove and the Infinity Stones in it. So yeah, Robert Downey Jr. going to play Doctor Doom, and I guess that's exciting. See, you can do anything now with the multiverses. Right. You go, hey, like you know, like a different one. Yeah. A different guy. There you go. We'll see how it plays out. Yeah. Um, okay, I got a break. Hey, you want to join us on our Alan Cox Show cruise next month, August 24th? We go back out. We got a bigger boat. And we're going to have a lot of fun, boy. Captain Fun's Floating Fandango. It's all brought to you by Circle K. We'll all be there. Mattitude's going to spin for you. The ticket's 